Oh, oh man, you guys thought I was done, huh? With him? I guess I am now. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy Jay here, and welcome back to another video. We are back with some more of these type of videos, which is course reviews. I don't do these type of videos that much for reviews because sometimes the, the reviews don't do well that much, but now this is for a personal thing for me only. I'm probably gonna remember it right now. Today, we are reviewing Deadpool and Wolverine, and I gotta say this, man. This movie was something. It really was. I really enjoy this movie a lot, but there's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm going to say in this video. This is not going to be a spoiler review. This is going to be my thoughts about the movie. What did I think about it? What actually worked for me? What didn't work for me? That's the only thing we're going to be talking about in this video. The positives and the negatives and everything about this movie we're going to talk about it right now in this video what actually worked for me personally but if you guys want to see more of these reviews make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you guys want to see more of these videos with that being said it's time to review wolvie okay let me stop <laughs> let me stop with this let me stop with that but anyways it is time to review Deadpool and Wolverine. Okay, let's start off with some of the stuff that I actually liked about the movie. There's one beginning scene which blows my mind. This is out of this world. I'm telling you as an MCU fan, when you see this scene, you guys are going to be mind blown about this. It is something that we have never seen before in MCU history. It's one of the best action scenes I ever seen in my life. It's it's really good. And there's some jokes in there that people were laughing about. And it does a really good job with the action scenes. And about Sean Levy, the, the, the director that did this movie, Deadpool Wolverine. Of course, he's friends with um Ryan Reynolds and also Hugh Jackman. Um, I was very curious to see how his directing was going to be for this movie. I was very concerned about it. But I know a lot of people were actually hitting on the MCU. People were saying the MCU is dead. They have no faith in this movie. And it's like, no. Watch this movie and see and find out if you like it or not. But yeah, okay. With that being said, man, Sean Levy, the director that did Stranger Things and also he did Free Guy, The Adam Project, all those stuff. I actually enjoyed them a lot. But overall with this directing, it was on a different level. I did not expect his directing to be on top of everything and every scene that he does it. It's freaking insane that how he does these scenes, it, do it does a really good job with Deadpool and Wolverine on screen, and it's awesome. It's probably going to be one of the most memorable um, movies for the MCU we're possibly going to like see for a while. It really is. But let's talk about the things that actually about the plot and everything okay so basically this is a death wolverine film um people were actually curious about how is this going to play out well you already know this how this movie is going to play out but this movie is about deadpool and wolverine it's about what's going on with deadpool's life after six years ago and i thought they did a, a pretty decent job about it when they were trying to go on his backstory of what was going on with his mid midlife crisis of what's happening here he wants to give up um doing superhero stuff and you see that from that emotion from him that he just wants to give up and have a normal life with Vanessa. And we're going to get to that later in the video about that. But what they did with that was actually pretty good on that. But overall, when it comes to the TVA, they actually play a major part about this movie that they're bringing Deadpool to the MCU. That he has like one of the two choices that one, he actually he might actually go to the MCU because he, he wants to be a hero. He wants to be one of the Avengers, but also, too, um, his world is actually dying because he's in the Fox universe. That's what he's in. But um, one of the interesting things about this movie was that um, <laughs> like making it Marvel Jesus. And I, and I was like a big complaint, like a little bit when I saw the trailer, though. I was very curious to see what, what they're going to do with the humor. I'll just play it right now for you guys. Damn. But yeah, it's something like that, that the comedy has something towards like other stuff that you're going to see a lot of like Gen Z or like everywhere, like jokes around this at this point. Of course, it's coming to the MCU for this movie, but the Fox, it, it was Fox though. And now we're in the MCU. They're combined all that stuff with some jokiness right there. And there's a lot of four breaking walls jokes in this movie. It, there really is. Once you watch this movie, 
you're gonna find out what these fourth wall jokes are going to be but also um let's get to one of the best parts about this movie that i actually like i think the action is probably the best part about this movie by far it really is and also the second best part is death wolverine um when they're on screen together it just makes this movie an enjoyable fun time seeing these two on screen you can obviously tell that ryan reynolds and hugh jackman were having a very good time on this movie that they were just going all in in this movie that they actually cared about their characters and it was a pretty well done for them and when we get to this one of those scenes that they do not get along pretty well when you see this movie that Depp and Wolverine do not get along in this movie there's a bunch of stuff that goes crazy like Wolverine is going through a lot of stuff in his other like universe because you guys remember that scene what Mr. Paradox said about Wolverine uh, about his world we're gonna talk about that right now look this wolverine let down his entire world but yeah something like that was actually pretty interesting from that is that he's going through a lot of stuff and when, when we get to that stuff it's kind of split apart from the story to wolverine and to deadpool because i feel like what they're trying to do is kind of like combine it into a way i feel like that kind of felt flat to me for some of the most part from that but this is the Deadpool movie. This full of jokes and everything you're going to like about it. But let's talk about some of the cameos. I'm not going to get any spoilers here. There was a lot of stuff that it's like fan favorite cameos you're probably going to see in the movie that people are going to be like, ah, look at this. It's this cameo. I know who that is. I know who that is. That's all you're going to see from the movie. But the cameos, they actually play some of like a little part of the movie, of the narrative. It keeps you going towards the movie and i'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be happy about that because once you see the movie the cameras are going to pull you in and i feel like some of the points about cameras is that it's just one time only done thing but no they're just going to see that and that's it i'm not going to say who they are i'm not going to spoil it it's a lot of stuff i want to say about this movie but you guys are probably going to be happy about these cameos and what they do with them is is actually a pretty good job and i can't say the names because it's crazy but good thing i didn't say it because if i actually say oh this will actually be a spoiler review but i don't want to say a movie i don't want to say it but anyways moving on from that um the narrative gets you kind of like pulled in at some points when it comes to the cameos but but now once we get to like some of the parts of the emotion and story it kind of falls flat and look we're already at the complaints here and there right now we're not even close there yet but let's talk about the villain um the villain cassandra noah she is the evil twin sister of charles xavier evil twin brother and sister actually in the comics she is very evil she is very evil in the comics she destroys like a lot of mutants in the comics it's very crazy from what i heard from that i saw a video from that that she's very crazy she's very evil in the comics and i won't say she's going to be like like a top tier villain i won't say that but this is actually one of the most brutal villains we ever got in mcu history it really is there's some scenes that there's it's probably gonna be uncomfortable a little bit that it's edgy and crazy i will say that to you that what she does but it's insane from her but yeah is this going to be a top tier villain no definitely not no i still think thanos is like the number one villain in mcu history of all time for her actually i think she's probably going to be a memorable villain she really is she's a good villain don't get me wrong it's just what they did with her is kind of like a flat job to me which i kind of want from that and they do an okay job from that but all this was just all about Death and Wolverine, like just making like the jokes and also like pulling you into what humor is going to be from the movie. And also let's get to the negatives that I did not like about the movie. Um, it's I know people are going to be saying this a lot because fast pace. There's a lot of fast pace in this movie. It's it's just it just goes way too fast for you when you watch this movie then no wonder they actually shut it to the fans because this movie was actually fast paced you actually tell that there was a lot of stuff going on in this movie and you can actually tell that they were showing a lot in this movie that to other fan screens over there man that's why they actually show that that a lot of spoilers are happening around there too and it's crazy now you think about when i watched this movie it was a very fast paced movie you know the reason why is because there's so many stuff in this movie that there's some spoilers in there that when you watch the movie there's going to be some spoilers in the movie for sure because when you watch the movie 
it's going to be fast paced for you and it's just like huh not like john wick though but it's a fast pace it's a two hour and eight minute movie and also there's a little, little complaints from that it's just when they get to like the cameos it just takes away from the narrative from everything else they i feel like what they were trying to do with this movie was that they try to like get all the like the ca cameos into that lore but i feel like it just didn't work for me out but don't get me wrong it was just the deadpool and wolverine um characters for those two they got pulled me in from what was happening and they didn't do a good job with the narrative i will say that to you and i Dep the first deadpool movie did a really good job with the narrative with vanessa and wade wilson i wish i wanted that more from vanessa we don't really get that that much we really don't it's just a Deadpool Wolverine movie that you're probably just going to see them just facing off against each other, just doing that, and that's it. Like, fighting against each other because he said some crazy stuff that Deadpool says in this movie. And so is Wolverine. When we get to that part from Wolverine, there's, like, one emotional scene that Wolverine was talking crazy about Deadpool, about his emotions, and I feel like that kind of draw me into the movie which it actually did because there's so many attention to that character but once you see Depp and Wolverine together that there's like one emotional scene when they got to that it actually pretty worked for me I actually really cared about the character of Wolverine but there's a lot of story point that actually takes away from the movie and I wish they could have done a good job with it but I feel like it's so lightning fast because you don't really take that from the movie you don't really get that mostly invested towards the movie and towards these characters because it's so fast paced you don't really get to see a lot of these characters that much do very well but it's still a very enjoyable time to see those characters in action but they just don't really get to the story parts of it i wish they couldn't like make like a narrative like story between depth and rain together but overall it's still a good time to like enjoy this movie of course you can have your silly dumb moments in the movie you don't need to like go off that crazy to make a crin like a crazy joke or anything we still need these elements between death and wolverine that's all we need from the movie we need these characters to be mostly invested in that we care for that's all we need that's pretty much it for marvel man but i wish to meet that if marvel wants to do another movie like this i wish they can actually do a movie with a serious tone and actually get mostly invested with the characters like if it's something like taking serious with all the stuff logic with all the characters and all that stuff they could have just like done that with the movie and i wish they could have done that with a good narrative of course this must have been like a cheap movie or anything like that to make of this movie personally crazy how we got one marvel movie came out this year which is depth of wolverine the real mcu starts next year because they have a lot of stuff coming out next year for marvel because once 2025 comes they better step up their game because once that i know they're doing a lot of reshoots and also some other stuff they changed they better do great with these movies when it comes out. That's one of the complaints that I kind of have from this movie was that I wish they could have done a good job with the narrative and just some of the parts with, with Vanessa and the other characters. I wish they could have done that better instead of Depp and Wolverine trying to like do the narrative and all that stuff. They didn't do the narrative. It was just some of the cameos that did the narrative. And also the villain kind of did that too a little bit. But, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for my part of the review for this uh, video but we're almost done with the review um is this like a top 10 or top 5 mcu movie it is top 10 for me personally it really is but is this better than no way home yes it is for me because i love the action scenes and i really love how they did with depth and wolverine in this movie but it there's so many things that that kind of worked for me for this movie, but it didn't work for me out of it. Is this better than Infinity War? No, definitely not. My Infinity War is my favorite comic book movie of all time. But for Endgame, definitely better than Endgame. I'll say that for a fact, because there's some action scenes that I liked from Death and Wolverine. But the narrative, all that stuff and everything that's going on, that takes away from the part of the movie. Because it just doesn't like do a good job with it. But... With that being said, um, what should I rate this movie? I'm going to give it a, a 9 out of 10. I think everyone should go see this movie. If you're an MCU fan, if you're like a Fox, X-Men, Marvel, Wolverine, Deadpool fan, you're going to enjoy this movie a lot. This is a tribute for the X-Men movies, the Fox era X-Men movies, of course. This is a tribute to all of that. 
and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy this movie. Is this movie of the year? For me, it is. Personally, it really is. I'm gonna say that for a fact. I'm kind of biased. Something between me that I'm kind of really biased with this movie. It's my movie of the year, of course. But we'll see what happens with other movies coming out this year about which movie of the year is actually top one for me. But overall, it's Death and Wolverine. Um, make sure you guys go see this movie. Um, and I will talk about, if you guys want me to talk about like a spoiler review or anything like that, about the other stuff that what happens in the, the narrative and, the, and like in the movie, um, let me know in the comments down below. I'll make it happen for you guys. But with that being said, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to this channel. If you guys want to see more of these like videos, of course, because I just talk about my thoughts about the movie. But with that being said, I'll see you guys next video. Peace.